The movie starts with the visuals of space. Then we see a huge spaceship named Avalon is flying from Earth to another planet called Homestead 2. The spaceship is flying on autopilot carrying 258 crew members and 5,000 passengers in hibernation capsules. Suddenly, a big meteoroid strikes on the spaceship. Because of that one of the hibernation capsule opens. James Priston, who is in that capsule awakes and, eventually Jim find out, he is the only one awake from the hibernation. Then he tried to go to the captain's room but the door was locked. The spaceship was programmed to reach at Homestead 2 in 120 years. But he awakes only after 30 years and it will take 90 years more to reach at Homestead 2. He tries to send a message to Earth but it will take 55 years to get a reply from Earth. Jim meet the robot bartender Arthur. And Arthur does not believe that Jim has been awakened from the hibernation. Jim tried different methods to get back to his hibernation capsule, and he also tried to get in into the captain's cabin but he didn't succeed. Arthur suggests him to stop worrying and enjoy his life a little, so he starts to enjoy his life a little and stops worrying. But soon after, Jim was bored and frustrated. He tries to kill himself by jumping into the space, but he didn't have the courage to do so, and starts running, out of frustration. He saw Aurora Lane who was in a hibernation capsule. He saw the videos of Aurora and fell in love with her. Now, Jim wanted Aurora to awake from the hibernation but he hesitates to do that. But at last he decides to wake her up by damaging her hibernation capsule. After Aurora awakes from her hibernation. She was so confused, and it was hard for her to believe that she had to spend the rest of her life in a 1000 meter long spaceship with a complete stranger. She tried to do everything she could, to get back to hibernation. But Jim tells her nothing is going to work because he had tried everything for a year. At last Aurora also accepts her fate as Jim did. Now Aurora wants to interview Jim. And she asks him why he left Earth and decided to travel in a spaceship for 120 years. Now Jim and Aurora spends more times together and Jim asks her for a date. Eventually, they fall in love with each other. Aurora loves to write, and she writes about her life in spaceship with Jim. But one day by mistake, Arthur tells Aurora that Jim was the one who woke her up from hibernation. Aurora was so frustrated and angry after knowing that, Jim tried to convince her but Aurora says she hates him because he took her life. Jim tried to talk to her, but she avoided him, saying him that he is a murderer. Jim planted a tree in the spaceship, in order to apologize her. Lately, a lot of functional problems has been shown up in the ship. Which causes the hibernation failure of crew's captain, Gus's hibernation capsule. The spaceship starts to act abnormally. And three of them found that, the meteoroid that have crashed two years ago on ship have seriously damaged Avalon. Gus suddenly blanks out. And they found that he has 612 disorders because of his goofy hibernation, and have a little time left with him. Soon after he tells Jim and Aurora to fix the ship, and then he, died. Jim and Aurora go to the engine room and find out there are too many holes in ship. And also the main computer system was broken which was the main problem. They fixed the computer system but spaceship wasn't repaired completely. Jim came to know that someone has to go outside and open the door of reactor room manually. So Jim goes to outside of the ship to fix it. He somehow managed to fix the ship but the tether that was attached to his suit is now broken. So he can't get back to ship and eventually, he faints out in space. Aurora goes outside in space, and get Jim inside the spaceship and after being treated in an autodoc machine, Jim is finally awake. Jim tells Aurora, that one of them can get back to hibernation by autodoc machine. And Jim wants her to get back to her hibernation. But Aurora decides to stay with Jim. And Jim proposed her to marry him. Aurora said yes and they lived a happy life together. After 88 years when crew members are awake they see trees and flowers all around the ship, and it seemed like a beautiful planet. Make sure to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about our new videos. Thanks for watching.